one of the things that sort of inspired me when I got to my, when I left Erie, came back to Charleston, South Carolina, is that finding out that Charleston, South Carolina is where rice first came into the United States. And uh, the major rice variety there that made the huge plantations and huge fortunes along the coast, coastal areas of South Carolina was a variety called Carolina Gold. And so realizing the importance of rice and, and to the history and the so many threads associated with the history, the slavery, so on and so forth, I got interested in Carolina Gold and we started a Carolina Gold Rice Foundation. And uh, I'm the vice president and chairman of the board of that foundation. And this past August, which was 2005, we had a major symposium, which Tom Hargrove and Gerda F. Cush and many of the people that we know in the rice world made, uh, made presentations. Uh, but it also included more than just scientific presentations on rice. It included rice, rice architecture, rice culture, rice history, uh, and so forth. And so it was a major symposium, and the proceedings will be coming out soon uh, for, the, for that uh, foundation, uh, those foundation presentations. So, that's this one of the spin-offs that comes when you when you uh, work in a culture where rice is so important and you're looking for some way to do it. Currently, I'm uh, still working with rice, uh, although our laboratory is a vegetable uh, laboratory. Uh, we also, under the Clemson part, we 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 uh, share a laboratory with the Department of Agriculture, a brand new thirty million dollar facility. It's it's a really very nice facility. But we also cover what we call specialty crops, and under that specialty crops umbrella, I still work with rice. And Gerdev uh, crossbred some, uh, bred some uh, Carolina Gold rice with some of his high yielding varieties. We kept the gold trait in uh, short stature and higher yielding, since Carolina Gold has a tendency to lodge, uh, that is fall down in the presence of heavy rains and, and wind. And now we've been screening for this is our eighth year, and we have one that we think is going to be a real winner. We're going to call it Charleston Gold, as a as a, a progeny or partly progeny of, of, of the Carolina Gold thing. So, I'm real real happy about that. Uh, we'll see how that goes within the next uh, couple of years. If it does have some really good traits and good taste characteristics, and it will be released as a variety. Of course, if it doesn't, we won't release it. <laughs>